Yo, what's going on Madden community? Welcome back to another Madden Doctor video today. Quick video, single setup, how to stop, the most efficient way to stop the Wildcat. I can't believe this video slipped my mind, man. I actually looked it up in game. Like what I used to do way back when I first started CFMs, really the whole reason I have the YouTube channel today is because people had such hard things to stop in CFMs when I first started playing Madden Leagues. Like, five six years ago i've been playing man a lot longer than that but first started leagues my buddy got me into leagues like five six years ago and the first thing i would do if i couldn't stop some is go on youtube how to stop this how to stop that i was in game the other day and i youtubed how to stop the wildcat there's literally nothing been posted for like three months maybe in the last within the last three to four days there's been videos posted but like the beginning of last week mid last week there was nothing out on it that were not at least like four or five months old so i meant to do this video and the community tab i put a poll on there so make sure you check in there it's like a world of its own i don't get notifications for the community tab like i don't get notified like a normal comment on a video i don't get notified when you comment in there i don't know if it's a setting i'll look at it but uh i was watching the poll when i first posted it and it was just getting like you know maybe 20 20 votes and then all of a sudden i went back in there today and it's got almost 200 votes and 70 percent of y'all wanted this video so let's dive into it i'm not even going to show the offense because there's a few different versions of the jet suite and the wildcat that you can run i've heard carolina's playbook i've heard raven's playbook i've heard Taysom hill package with the saints playbook so i'm not even going to show the offense because it doesn't matter it's a universal setup doesn't matter which side strong which side's weak that's the beauty of this setup you're kind of kind of gonna smack yourself in the head if you're having trouble stopping the wildcat right now because this is a play that's been good at stopping the run for at least three maddens now not too much of a different setup so let's dive into it all right boys let's dive into the setup like i said i'm not actually gonna run the play i will come out in it um, and I am actually streaming. I'll pop up on the screen right here. I finally got my Twitch. I don't even know what it's called. It's just Madden Doctor, nothing else. I was lucky enough to get that name, Madden Doctor, no underscores or nothing. Um, I got about three games in me. So if you're watching this video on Sunday night, one to three hours after it's posted, I'm probably over on Twitch streaming. So come support the stream. Basically, the only reason I brought that up, since I'm not showing this in game, maybe I will run into somebody in game and I can show you it working in game. But let's dive into how to stop the Wildcat Madden 20. Three, four on. Cover four, drop show two. It's been a staple to stop in the run for a few minutes. Now, I know it wasn't super effective in the beginning of the year. I find it more effective now. And you can make minor tweaks to this, but all that gameplay in the beginning of this video was all... And that dude had four Super Bowls. So he ran into like 20 to 30 to 40 people that didn't know how to stop the Wildcat. And I was stopping it consistently. I was able to get him to quit in three drives. And all I'm doing is baseline, press... And here's where you kind of have to read your opponent. To start out, I like to just spread the D-line, crash them down. Also spread the linebackers. We've already pressed, so the last thing you do is just uh, hard flat. And to start also, I will cloud flat him just in case he's passing. The great thing about this, guys, is I have a really good run stopping, like 100% of the time to stop the run against two wide receivers or less on Patreon. Um, it's something I labbed up myself, and it does a great job. But the one thing that setup and that play does not do is stop the Wildcat. And that's why I was getting gashed by the Wildcat for a few games. I can't believe there's not more content out on this. And the 4-4 does a decent job of stopping it as well. Um, but basically, you, you figure out which side he's going to more often. You bring the, the safety from the opposite side a little bit closer. Um, and you would think to cheat over here, it's actually best to get this guy, the safety high and to kind of leave the linebacker to the left side of the field if you think he's going right. Just because a lot of times the guard will check onto you and you can run straight right and that's just a wasted blocker and gives you a free run at either the running back or the quarterback. Also, you can go on your coaching adjustments if he's keeping it with Lamar Jackson a lot. I mean, you saw the last dude's scheme in the, in the beginning of this video, the gameplay. It was literally, I formed tight, audible to the Wildcat, so he never even had to call a play, and just spam the Wildcat. And he's got four Super Bowls. So I'm hoping this video is helpful, man. I hope it goes viral, because this is a very, very, like, annoying thing to stop if you don't have run defense for it. But I'll, I'll go through the setup one more time. And every once in a while, if you get some yards, 
But um, you saw in the beginning, he did get like one first down because Lamar Jackson, he had some sort of ability on and he fell forward like six yards, literally stumbled. Um, but other than that, if you don't completely blow the user, you should be good to go. Once again, it's just a baseline, spread your D-line, slant them inside, spread your linebackers, press and hard flat. You're gonna move these safeties back. Um, you should do. You should be able to get all the adjustments I just did before he even set the line of scrimmage. So you should be able to get those adjustments in really quick. And then the only other thing is to figure out what he's doing. If he's really sweeping all the way outside, I'll even bring this safety a little farther outside. Uh, just adjust to what he's doing. But the main thing is spreading that D-line, crashing them down, spreading the linebackers and hard flatting. That's going to give you the best contain. The rest is just lining it all up. You know, I did a collab with Eric Rayweather, right? And I don't run the 4-3 over anymore, but that's still one of my favorite ways to stop the run. And, you know, I still get notifications from people in his video because he gets, like, hundreds of thousands of views, man. I'll get a notification, like, every week. Someone in that damn thread saying, I tried this one time and I got gashed for 70 yards. Either A, you blew the user, or B, you didn't line up these safeties correctly. Yes, you can mess it up. It's not, nothing in Madden is 100%. But this will give you a 95% chance to stop the Wildcat as long as you shoot the gap correctly and line up those safeties correctly. Hope you enjoy it, fellas. Hope it helps your Madden game. Appreciate you watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the rest of your Madden season.